Hello, what is up? So, a lot to get through. I've had a really good look now at uh, FSR4 on RDNA3. And uh, my findings so far, I mean, this is a XTX. I'm on, on AI limit. And I did check this game out before. And I was, I was literally remembering how clean it was. And what I'm finding in uh, quite a few games now is uh, basically... It's the stability of the image is a lot worse on the RDNA 3 with this latest DLL. Well, it's, it's obviously not a official FSR 4 fault. It's been compiled by someone who did it on Reddit. And uh, although it does definitely give you a better image than FSR 3 from what I've seen, I was quite impressed with it when I first started using it. But the differences are... Uh, Basically, you're just gonna. It won't be as good as, uh, say, on the 97 XT or any Arduino A4 GPU. So for Arduino A3 users, you definitely it's definitely worth the upgrade uh, over FSR 3. Although there is just uh, some some downgrades. I mean, if you've uh, already used FSR 4 on Arduino A4, you will notice it. So that's what I've literally noticed because I've got access to the 97 XT. But yeah, I mean, I was happy to use it. It's just that uh, some games can throw curveballs and all that. But yeah, I mean, it's good to get access to it. But anyway, I just thought I'd upload a video to show the differences between FSR 4 on Arduino A3 and Arduino A4 at this moment in time. And uh, I did notice it when I'm speaking to this uh, guy here. So if you look at his hair, it's a lot cleaner on the 97 XT. FSR 4 but on the XTX it was shimmering a fair bit so I will zoom in at the end of this uh, 97 XT run so we're just looking at the 97 XT here uh, we're just looking at that when I'm looking in the distance there's just more stability the worst thing that happens is behind that telephone box there was a slight bit of uh, instability but then it quickly resolves itself whereas on the xdx it was literally happening all the time and then when i was looking at the windows there was a lot of instability so a lot of uh aliasing a lot of temporo instability uh because it's just not working as well and uh but then it's just good to as i say it's better than fsr3 so I mean, a lot of these modern games are looking extremely bad with FSR 3 because I, that's what I've been looking at as well. I, <laughs> Expedition 33 is a joke with a uh, once you try FSR 3 and that there is so much, so many artifacts, so much shimmering. It is a joke. I found this to be a lot cleaner here as well when I'm looking at the barbed wire. So it was breaking up a lot. I mean, it was hardly breaking up at all, actually, on the 97 XT, but it, it wasn't terrible on the XCX with SR4, but then it, it's just worse. So, again, I will just notice these differences, because once I look at something and then I go to downgrade, I usually do. But in the main, I've definitely been impressed with uh, SR4, how, how well it's actually doing. I expected it to be absolutely terrible on Arden A3. But that hasn't been the case. Although in some games it will look pretty broken on some quality modes. But anyway, this is the 97 XT. So we're zooming in. And you can see how stable it is. The hair collie just zooming in. And uh, it's not just hair collie. It's other things as well. But this was a good way to show it, I thought. And uh, so this is the XDX using FSR4. And you can see it's just shimmering a lot. There's a bit of black... The overall image is just worse compared to the 97 XT version of FSR4. But yeah, I mean, it's not exactly going to be any worse than a <laughs> FSR3, is it? So, uh, not whatever way you're looking at it, you're getting an upgrade from FSR3. So, so this was a Claire Expedition 33, and uh, this was terrible on the FSR3. Uh, one, I will actually warn, when I went uh, DLSS balanced, using OptiScale, there was a massive, there was flashing on the screen. So I would very much born not to use balanced DLSS because I was getting a lot of flashing. So only use quality mode or performance mode on that. 
and then XCSS you can actually use. But I found the uh, DLSS to give you the best you could hope for upgrading to FSR 4. So even with a uh, FSR 4 enabled on RDNA 3, there is issues with it. So this is definitely one of the worst games I've seen using FSR 4 on RDNA 3 without that. But then you'll literally see how bad FSR 3 is and then you will see, yeah, this is way better. Way, way better once you upgrade to FSR 4. So again, it's just because I'm used to the FSR 4 image on the 97 XT with this game that I thought, yeah, that looks bad. But then, uh, yeah, it is an upgrade, definitely an upgrade. So I did try a performance. I did have a good look at it, but I, I couldn't find one that totally cleaned everything up. There was just a lot of artifacts. This game is, uh, they didn't put FSR in the game. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to realise why, but then I still think they should have done it. But then, then there's, it does look terrible, but then it's, I don't know how they've developed the game, but it just really doesn't work with uh, FSR 3 at all. So a lot of these games, I think it depends what's going on. As to whether the FSR 4 will work properly on the RDNA 3, maybe. I mean, Rebirth, it looked great. Stellar Blade, it looked great. How is us looked really good once you went balanced. Uh, at quality, there was a lot of... It wasn't even that bad when you're looking at this game, but there was just a bit of in instability with the doors. The iron uh, doors I was looking at, and then that was it. So... I mean, Final Fantasy 16 looked really good. All I didn't play a lot of the games, I I could I just looked at the image quality and quit the game. But I can't see why it would have got even worse in other areas, although there might be a few bits. But straight away, I saw it on this game. But I do, you have got the option of going FSR 3 as well in the upscaler menu. So I pretty much do that. So this is the latest version. <laughs> and look at that, he's shimming so badly. He's a joke, a complete nightmare. When I'm looking at it, that is, for me, for me that is unplayable because it's so distracting. So, as I said, this 100% an upgrade on our DNA 3. For an our DNA 3 users, is easily an upgrade once you go to FSR 4. Uh, using Opsiscala. I mean, look at that. It's just all these white speckles. <laughs> look at that. That Where the typewriter is. That is a joke, that. So, yeah, no doubt in my mind. Obviously, you're getting a nice improvement, as you should do in most games, but just be... Wary that, uh, as I saw in Metal Gear Solid, the quality mode uh, can be broken in quite a few games. So you want to try performance or balance. But as I said, I would not recommend that in this game because the flashing lights were very bad. So I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it was so bad that I couldn't look at the screen. I had to quit the game. So honestly... Do not use balanced deal with this. It's like a flashing screen. And there's no way of getting rid of it until you can. But you, you'd have to look at the screen. So I would suggest just uh, not doing it all. And you'd have to just press insert and change the upscaler to XCSS again. But yeah, as you can see, <laughs> there's just a lot more. It's just ridiculous, the FSR 3. I don't even have to zoom in on this because you, it's, it should be so visible to see and as soon as you go to FSR 4 it just stabilizes it all that doesn't do as good as the job as it should do because you're using like uh you're not using the AMD's official implementation or it's just not gonna I don't know maybe it's just not gonna work as great on the Harden A3 because it's different architecture but I don't know I can't answer that question all I can say is uh so all I can do is show you the differences now and uh, tell you the best way to go about it. But majority of the time, you you should definitely 
be getting an upgrade when you're using Optiscaler. So again, this is a great mod. I use it all the time on the 97 XT. So there's a lot of shimmering where the typewriter is. So pretty much I found DLSS quality or performance to be the best two. Uh, I look pretty similar, to be honest. So that's probably the best you're going to get until maybe uh, AMD decide to release it for Arden A3. Maybe in their defence it's just not ready and it's running like this. So if they did release it, people would be complaining, saying the image quality ain't good. So it could be that. Not that I'm defending them. I think it should be uh, good and ready to go. But maybe it's taking them time to sort these issues out. I'm not sure. Is this the state it's in in certain games? Well, that's looking great in some other games. I mean, I think they could release it for certain games where it's looking great. At least give people a taster for people that are on RDNA 3 and maybe 2, if it's possible on that. I don't know. But, I mean, in the main, I'd say I never expected it to work this great on RDNA 3. Because it's obviously older architecture. So what I will say is, uh, I mean, what do I prefer at the moment? I thought I'd just give my own opinion. Uh, I still prefer the 97 XT. Mainly for, I mean, I do like the image quality I'm getting with uh, FSR 4 on the 97 XT. It really blows me away at times. Uh, but I definitely could play on X X. It depends what you got access to. I mean, for me, in terms of raster, that 97 XT, it really does surprise me. I mean, in games like Stalker 2, I tried that. And then I was, I did find I was getting more FPS uh, with the 97 XT. I think I was getting about 74. And then on the XCX, I was getting around 60 three or 65 in the same era so it does i mean i sometimes i just think i wonder what's going on but then it's obviously got more raster than the perception so i do find the perception is that 97 xt is worse in raster and that's the end of it but i'm not finding that so again this is i've got both that's what i'll see so it's, it's a weird one that it's definitely swings and roundabouts with it uh, obviously, there are the ray tracing performance is better. So when I round it up, I mean the biggest thing for me, there is more VRAM on the seventy nine hundred XCX, so that's the advantage. But I would say in terms of image quality, the ninety seven XT is going to win, uh, and in raster, it literally depends on the game. So when I round it all up, when I'm seeing even the raster is better than the XCX in quite a few games I'm testing, and it shocks me. Uh, yeah, it, it just makes my mind up. I, I just think I prefer the 97 XT, and that's why I've been using it over the XCX, but then it's great. If uh, if AMD can fully support the XCX with, our, uh, with the FSR 4, it would be great. So then it would uh, be on more of an even kill. But they're both great GPUs. I'm not going to force people. I don't uh, say to people you should be buying this or that. So if you've got an XCX and you don't want to upgrade, you should be happy. So, uh, same for someone on the 7900 XT or whatever. You know? I mean, considering this generation ain't great for an uplift anyway at all, especially Nvidia. I wouldn't... I'll, not I'd do it anyway, but I wouldn't say oh, you should be upgrading. Uh I'm a big believer, if you're happy with the GPU you got, you don't need to upgrade. You should only upgrade when it's really worth it. That's what I'd say. Or if you're really wanting something uh, and you think it's worth the money. So, anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.